Hey YouTube, it's your girl Jazz coming back at you with a requested video by one of my subscribers. I think you pronounce her name Pina Colada and I hope I did not tear that up but I definitely will um, insert that um, somewhere on this video. But um, definitely this is going to be a nail care video. Um, my nails... Um, I have an overlay and like I did state I am a licensed nail technician I do my own nails um the color that I'm wearing today is Jamaican me crazy from um, Essie um, so since I do have an overlay of acrylic on my nails they're probably not at their healthiest and I've never had extremely strong healthy um, nails that's just even as a kid, I was a nail biter. Um, I guess I'm lacking whatever it is that gives you strong, healthy nails. My, I just don't have it. So what I'm going to do is just pretty much come to you. And I hope that this will definitely be um, okay. It's just to kind of give you some nail items that I think are must-haves in order to maintain um, nice-looking nails. Um and this is no in no particular order and I must make an honorable mention I cannot find my bottle anywhere but it is creative nail design solar oil that is hands down the best cuticle oil that I've ever 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 used ever experienced and I believe it's made with sweet almond and Jehovah oil um, I've used it since I got my nail tech license and that was back in 2000 so for 11 years now I'm still using that oil so um, and I'm very very mad because I cannot find my bottle so that's just my honorable mention but the first thing that I think that in order to have proper um, well maintained nails I think you need polish remover and this isn't a little pump that a bottle that I got I believe from I want to say Walmart or Target State Beauty Supply which is a beauty supply company that you have to you have to be licensed in order to get products from them so I do apologize but it was just a dollar thirty three you can get them at Sally's you can get them I think Zoya they sell their nail polish remover in a container like this with this little pump that this locks sorry scared the crap out of me but um you press that down and then the um polish remover comes out through the top you can also twist it if you want to take it for travel and i can't do it with one hand but you twist it and it locks and just pop it and it won't go down um the next item is going to be what i use to take my nail polish off and that are these little um swabs gauze excuse me um, and i got this little trick when we were at school because it has the material it just grabs onto glitter really really well um and they're just awesome and you can get them very inexpensively um you know so unless you're doing that someone else's nails you know you could probably use one or two every time you remove your polish um, I do use as pure acetone. I don't recommend that everyone does do that because it is very strong. It messes and damages up items. You have to be extremely careful with it. Um, so and definitely on natural nails, you don't need something that drying. You just pop regular polish remover. On my toenails, I use regular polish remover that I just get from Target. So that will work. Um, the next item is going to be, let me speed this up. A cuticle nipper I think you definitely need a good cuticle nipper this is the one that came in my um, nail tech kit still have it and it's quite expensive so you don't have to necessarily get this brand I won't even mention the brand but a really really good one and that's actually in my purse is the Sally Hansen they make one called I think on the go and it's really really petite and it definitely um, fits in your purse it's easy to hold it's made for people with small hands and so forth the next item would be a cuticle stick 
Um, I don't use these so much on my hands as I do on like my toenails because I don't like using the metal ones to push my cuticles back on my toenails. Um, I don't push them back on my hands, um, but I do push them back on my toenails and I really like these. Um, what I usually do is after every use, I take an old nail file, um, which probably is like a 80 grit, which is the strength of it, and I just smooth this down and that's just, uh, you know, sanit it sanitizes it, you know, as well as just keeps the, the tip kind of um, bubbled out to make it easier to push back my cuticles. I definitely think you need a good file. This is one I would probably use on regular, um, excuse me, natural fingernails versus acrylic ones. I do use, you know, your strong black file um to to um file my nails but this is one that is good for your free edge and it, it gives you all the steps you cannot go wrong you know it's one two um three four five six seven yeah four five six seven um but yeah, I when I get my boyfriend manicures, he, you know, this really looks, makes his nails look really, really nice. So, that's a must-have. Um, the next items I'm going to give you are five polishes. I personally think everyone needs in their collection. I think no matter, you know, if you have long nails, short nails. I'm not really a big fan of long nails anymore. Not extremely long nails. Um, I wore them when I was in nail school. I wore them. I used to put a ton of art on them. But now that I'm just in a different setting and a different place in my life, I just like short, nice, cropped nails. Um, so with that being said, I, the first color I think that everyone needs is a nice skin tone color. Something that's very close to your skin tone, kind of like that nude lip. This is that nude polish. So I think um, neutral looking polish, excuse me. So I think something like this. This is actually new from OPI and it is called a taupe the space needle. So it's a very nice color. Um, the next color I think everyone needs is definitely your classic red. I think this is so sexy. I think it's beautiful on your toes. I think it looks good on anyone. Anyone can pull this off. And um, this is Sally Hansen's Extreme Wear in Cherry Red, number 160. A beautiful color. Um, the next color I think that every woman needs is a nice, neutral, um, a light, just a light color of some sort. Whether it be a pink shade, whether it be a creamy white, a creamy beige. Um, even I've seen some creamy grays um, that look so close to you know white but they still have that hint of gray i think that would just be awesome but i think everyone needs um a nice creamy light neutral color these are good for interviews good for if you have a wedding to go to um just really really nice and they look pretty on many different people the next polish i think is definitely a dark vampy color um, for fall, winter, if you just want to have some fun. This is actually from the Metro Collection and it's called Urban Night. But a beautiful color. I think it's wonderful to have a black, a dark green, a dark blue, something of that sort. Just to have a vampy color. And last but not least, I think you need just a trend color um, for the season that you're in. This is going to be the trend for fall and winter. And this is, I'm sorry... West, West Side Warrior and this is by China Glaze Metro Collection as well. Beautiful color. Nice, beautiful, beautiful color. Also, let me speed this up. I'm sorry. Um, a nice clear top coat. Something that gives you a lot of shine. Seche Vite is nice but it gets thick really, really easy and you only get halfway through the bottle. So that's what I think are some good products for nail techs. Excuse me. For nail um, connoisseurs. So thank you so much for watching. Please rate and subscribe. Um, definitely comment and let me know any other requests. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.